Now, I know, you, I know some of you guys are really hungry. I know that, as am I. But uh, I think you guys can do better than that. So I'm going to say it one more time. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you very much. Thank you for finishing it, completing it. You know, extra points for that, mashallah. Um, uh, my name is Kofi. Um, I am the uh, host or MC, I guess, for uh, this uh, this event. Um, let me just begin by saying Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala ashabul anbiya wa mursaleen. Wa ala ahlihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. First of all, uh, I want to thank all of you guys who have uh, attended this event, who've uh, uh, taking time out of your day, uh, some of you who are obviously fasting, uh, to come to this event. Uh, certainly appreciate it, and uh, we hope that uh, it'll be of, of benefit uh, to you and, uh, and everybody else. Um, I'm just going to first and foremost just start by uh, doing a traditional land acknowledgement. We acknowledge the land we are meeting on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the New Credit, the Ashinabek, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. So um, I want to welcome all of you uh, to the uh, Mayor's Iftar. Uh, alhamdulillah, we are very fortunate to live in a city uh, as diverse as Toronto and as welcoming as, and as open as Toronto uh, to uh, facilitate an event like this where we can be sitting literally in the, uh, uh, the halls of uh, elected office um, waiting to, uh, to break fast with Muslim and uh, non-Muslim friends alike. I want to thank uh, Mayor uh, John Tory and his staff uh, for uh, hosting us today. Uh, and for allowing us to um, take part in this and to, and to bring um, and to share some aspects of uh, the religion of Islam and Ramadan uh, in this auspicious month uh, here with the city. I'm not going to take uh, too much of your time, given that we don't have that much time, and I'm sure you don't want to hear me talk forever. So I'm going to be uh, uh, introducing uh, very quickly uh, our first speaker. Uh, our first speaker is uh, uh, Nithan Shan, I will let Nithan uh, share a few words with you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, sisters and brothers. It's a pleasure to be here uh, for the third annual Iftar at the City of Toronto. On behalf of Urban Alliance on Race Relations, I would like to thank Mayor John Tory and all of City Council and City Council staff for continuing this uh, important tradition of having iftar within City Hall in the Council Chambers. Uh, um, it was started uh, two, three, three years ago, and the context was uh, very simple. You know, as, as, a, as, a, as a country that we pride ourselves as a secular country, it is very important that every religion has their right to practice their religion in a peaceful and free environment. And we saw uh, a couple of years ago, um, and continuing today too, a lot of targeting of, uh, of mosques by hate, by people who are promoting hate, and, and we thought it would be ideal to have a celebration of iftar within the halls of power, within City Hall. So uh, thanks to Brother Mohammed uh, from Labor Council and few of us got together to initiate this, and uh, it's now become uh, an important event because the mayor uh, is uh, is receiving uh, the community here uh, at city at city hall uh, to have an iftar together. So it's an exemplary uh, exemplary event for others to follow. So I would like to thank uh, Mayor John Tory again for uh, for this important event. I want to say that you know as we as we continue to work together as a community, uh, it is very important uh, to have people of all different faiths come together to celebrate. Uh, uh, events like this because it's important for us to understand each other, important for us to be in solidarity with each other because when one religion gets targeted, all religions are at risk and when one community gets targeted, all communities are at risk and each of our growth depends on uh, each of our uh, uh, solidarity. So it's important for us to be together and that's why uh, City Hall becomes a place for all communities and all, 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 all diverse communities to come together. So um, 
on, from Urban Alliance on Race Relation in wrap, uh, wrapping up, we have two things that are very important for our communities uh, at City Hall and outside. One of them is the Muslim Youth Fellowship that we run. Uh, so hopefully we can talk after, after the, um, uh, at the end of the iftar uh, about ways in which we can work together. And also we initiated a campaign to have uh, the January 29th declared as a Day of Remembrance and Action on Islamophobia. Uh, thankfully, it was passed here in City Council a few years back, but we would like the province and the federal government to do it too. So we hope we can work together as communities to advance that. Um, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem, and um, looking forward to uh, celebrating with you at the end of the day with the iftar, and looking forward to celebrating the Eid and uh, many other uh, achievements of the Muslim Canadian community together. Thank you. Thank you very much for those uh, remarks, uh, Nithan. Just uh, a few logistical issues. Uh, for those of you who want to um, uh, use the washroom, I've been informed that you're going to have to make your way uh, through the members' lounge over there. Uh, you're going to have to take your shoes off because that's also the, the prayer area. So if you want to pray, uh, just be aware that you have to go upstairs, uh, just right, uh, right, right over here. You can walk in, in this direction. Uh, shoes can be taken off, and then uh, you can go in that direction. Um, uh, we will uh, be breaking our fasts here, so I will be passing around uh, dates uh, for, for those of you who are fasting or who want to enjoy dates, I guess, um, to break your fast here, and uh, afterwards we'll be eating not, not in the, uh, the, this actual council chamber, but actually in the rotunda uh, entrance that uh, we all came to when we first came in here. So uh, fear not, there is food, there is food, uh, just be aware that it's, we're going to have to go downstairs. Um, I want to also say that there are many, many distinguished people uh, in, the, in the audience today. We'll, we'll acknowledge them. We hope to acknowledge them as well. Um, and I think that is, uh, that is it for now. I want to just move on with our next speaker, um, Rehanna. Rehanna is going to be speaking on behalf of Islamic Relief. everyone. Oh, it's almost time to eat, don't worry. So I want to thank all you guys for being here tonight. I want to especially thank uh, Mayor Tory and his entire team for organizing this amazing event. This is the third year that we're hosting an iftar in Toronto City Hall. Um, three years ago, the first iftar was actually spearheaded by our dear friend uh, Nitin Chan over there. And this is rare. You know, it's very rare that um, we actually host an iftar in a city hall. We're one of the few cities around the world, I would say probably the only one in North America, that, is, that can celebrate diversity in such a way. So I want to talk a little bit about the work that Islamic Relief does around the world. So we are one of the world's largest faith-inspired NGOs and work in 40 countries around the world on projects ranging from disaster relief, poverty reduction, water, sanitation, health projects, and women empowerment. We're also humbled to have the opportunity here to serve those in need right here at home in Toronto and across the country. Just this past January, we distributed thousands of winter kids and hot meals to the homeless across the country. Mayor Tory actually um, joined us for one of the distributions right here in Toronto. And I know we've all been seeing what's happening in Quebec uh, with the floods. We have teams that are on the ground right now responding to those um, affected by the floods and actually providing basic necessities um, to, help them, um, to help them get through this difficult time. I know there's this saying that charity begins at home. And you know we believe that helping people is just not about helping people around the world, but actually also helping our neighbors right here at home in Canada. And that is what Ramadan is all about. It's about giving, sharing, learning, and appreciating every person. You know, it's just not about not eating or not drinking. It's also about coming together as a community to help each other. So once again, on behalf of Islamic Relief Canada, I want to thank you all for coming out here tonight. I want to thank Mayor Tori and Ethan Chan for organizing this, and I hope you do enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rihanna, for that. How many of you are already aware of Islamic Relief? Wow, that's pretty good. Who isn't? Who wasn't aware of Islamic Relief before today? All right. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So we're doing our we're doing our job. We're doing our job. I haven't done that. Um, okay. So I'm going to introduce our next speaker, um, Khadija. Khadija is a fellow with the Muslim Youth Fellows. 
pretty easy to remember that, I think, yeah? Um, uh, Muslim Youth Fellow is a, um, a uh, Muslim-focused uh, um, political internship program that seeks to expose young Muslim um, uh, youth, uh, young professionals to uh, uh, aspects of politics through City Hall. Uh, and we, I want, before Khadija speaks, I want to just acknowledge that uh, the Muslim Youth Fellows is a, is a program that uh, was started in part uh, because of the lot of the support that we received early on from Councilor, uh, former Councilor Nithan Shen. So Nithan, we want to thank you for all the work you did for that. And before, without further ado, Khadija. Hi to everyone. I can't make the star time come faster, but I will be fast. So inshallah, bear with me. So I'm one of the fellows that is in um, Deputy Mayor Anna Bailao's office, and I've had the fortunate opportunity to be alongside 12 other fellows throughout the past couple of months. And it's been a completely surreal experience. So the City of Toronto, Stats Can says, by 2030, 60% of our population is going to be visible minorities. And for the last few months, the Muslim Youth Fellows from across the city have had the opportunity to bring our intersectional and diversity into the various offices that we've been in. We've had individuals, we've had the City of Toronto welcome us for the past couple weeks, so we are able to give our perspectives on policy and community events and all other facets of the work that the city does and provide our perspectives as youth that grew up in the city uh, to all these wonderful events that happen. I want to thank uh, the, the mayor's office for welcoming us and holding the space down for the Muslim Youth Fellows to be able to do what we're doing and having your own fellow, Abdullah, who's done amazing work in policy. So in this couple minutes that I have, I just want to give a shout out to all the fellows that have been doing different things so you have an idea of what they've been up to for the past little while. So we have Naima, Fatah, Mohammed, Sartasha, Rosia, Ashima. Uh, and they've they've contributed so immensely to the policy perspectives that are that are worked up worked upon in the councillors' offices, as well as Anissa, who's undertaken amazing research projects to make sure that the perspectives of Muslim youth that are growing up in Toronto right now are included and added into the conversation, as well as Levin, who's galvanized the community to create multi-faith community events that create dialogue amongst the Muslim, Jewish, and Christian faith faiths, especially in time for in the commemoration of the Danforth shooting. So it's it's very wonderful to see that in, in these last couple weeks and the opportunity that the Muslim Youth Fellowship provides for the halls of the city to be filled with people who look like the city itself. And inshallah, this is, there's a few of us right now, but this inshallah, this is going to be something, inshallah, that's going to be present in our decision-making bodies for many, many years to come, especially as our youth grow up. And so, yeah, Jazakallah khair. And yeah. Thank you very much, Khadija. <clears throat> Getting closer to food. Getting closer to the food, you know? The problem with, the problem with fasting is that you're, you're very hungry and you think you're gonna eat a lot. And then you actually get the food and you can't eat a lot. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a letdown, but alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, you know we have food. Um, so without uh, further ado, I will uh, give the mic to our honored guest, uh, Mayor John Tory. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Kofi, thank you, and uh, to uh, each and every one of you, thank you for. Uh, being here, and I've got the message now uh, when there's been repeated references made by every preceding speaker that the food is soon to come, that I shouldn't speak for long so that people can pray and uh, we can break the fast. But I will, uh, if I might, uh, acknowledge with pleasure the attendance here of Council General of Turkey, Yakub Sekmen, uh, members of City Councilor, Councilor uh, Jennifer McKelvey, Councilor Shelley Carroll, Councilor Jay Robinson, and Councilor Brad Bradford. Would they all stand where we have to be? MPP Rima Burns McGowan is also here, uh, and I'd like to acknowledge her presence. <laughs> finally, I just want to say how, how happy I am to see Nathan Chan back here. Uh, did I miss anybody? Were you pointing at somebody I missed? No. Uh, Nathan Chan uh, was a value colleague of ours, and uh, you can just tell from the very fact that tonight uh, it has been mentioned that he was a driving force behind the establishment or initiation of this iftar dinner that we had in City Hall for the first time 
and the Muslim Youth Fellowship Program, both of which are now staples uh, here at City Hall and I think important steps forward uh, for us in terms of uh, trying to build the kind of city uh, that we want to build here. And so I want to say thank you to Nathan, Nathan, who now works with the Urban Alliance of Race Relations and is involved with many other things, including helping me uh, to fulfill uh, the commitment we made to the Tamil people in Sri Lanka when we were there to set up cooperation between Toronto and uh, Jaffna and the northern part of uh, Sri Lanka, helping some of the people there who were uh, so badly affected by the atrocities. I want to say thank you as well to Rihanna and please. Rihanna and the and Islamic Relief and to the Muslim Youth Fellowship for all their help, as well as Farnaz Patel in my own office and Abdullah Osman. Abdullah was uh, the uh, Youth Fellowship uh, uh, person in my office uh, just until a couple of days ago when he went off to work on Parliament Hill for the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And I think that's a wonderful statement about how this uh, uh, fellowship program gets people involved and then has them go off to do something like to work for the Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs. But he's a wonderful role model example for this community. I can just tell you of many, uh, but I was very proud to have him working uh, in my office. Uh, I want to just extend my best wish wishes to Ramadan Mubarak on the, on the uh, occasion of the beginning of the Holy Month of Ramadan. Uh, it's an interfaith event that we're having tonight, although I think many of you here uh, are members of the Islamic faith, but I do want to thank those who've joined from churches across the city and who are showcasing their support for this community. I say everywhere I go, because I have the privilege as mayor of going and celebrating the important occasions in many different faiths and communities in our city, and I think it is so important that we celebrate each other's special occasions and come to understand what they're all about. And as a small gesture of that, as a small gesture of that, I for the first time, and I don't want to make a deal of it, because at the end of the day, you will do it for quite a lengthy period of time. But for the first time ever in my life, I fasted from when I went to sleep last night until now. So I'm... <laughs> if you don't think I'm as anxious as you are about the, uh, about the breaking of the fast, you'd be wrong about that. But um, it, is, it is something that I think, as I've come to understand it over many, many iftar dinners and many other uh, occasions in the community, it, it is an occasion uh, where people in the community are encouraged to better themselves, to become more compassionate for the less, the less fortunate, to understand the meaning of uh, sacrifice. And I think it does uh, do all of that. And, and uh, I, I'm just glad that I did it. And I did it really as a symbol of my respect uh, for the faith of many of you and my respect and affection for the community that I've got to know so well over the time that I've had the privilege of being mayor. And, and the other thing that I've seen in the last few days, again, this year, again, and I see it through the year, um, is the incredible devotion to the community of uh, the members of this faith. Um, I've gone, last year at Iftar Dinners, I saw fundraising for a hospital take place in Thorncliffe Park, which Jay has the privilege of representing, and they handed over a handsome check uh, to, to uh, hospitals there. I saw food being collected at uh, a mosque in Scarborough, and every time, and this is an un, uh, untold story, uh, the community, as part of their uh, commemoration of Ramadan, were making a contribution to the broader community. And on this past weekend, I went up as a wonderful uh, uh, project that uh, Farnaz Patel was involved in as well, the Project Ramadan that had people uh, packing uh, food bags for Ramadan for people across the city. And there were at least 150 people there. Uh, I've gone with the very same group, the Muslim Welfare Center, to uh, deliver food and sandwiches and meals to people in Regent Park who are not necessarily of the Muslim faith at all. They're just people who are in need of some support and they're getting it from this community. So I want to say thank you for that because I think these are stories that are not uh, told as often as they might be and they're stories that need to be told more often. And I certainly try to do my part to talk about the experiences that I've had. I'll just make one uh, final comment. It was alluded to earlier on that, you know, uh, like across the world, unfortunately, there are, uh, we, there's a need for great vigilance with respect to the incidences of discrimination and um, in some cases hate crime. The hate crime report came out about a week or so ago um, at, uh, from the police board and it showed that uh, hate crimes were up slightly in Toronto. They've been up more markedly across the rest of the country, but the three groups that continue to be the most prevalent uh, victims of hate crimes continue to be uh, the Jewish community, the Muslim community, and the black community. And I just wanted you to know that I said on that day, as I will again tonight, that I, I'm going to redouble my own personal efforts. I know my colleagues are as well, uh, to make sure that we do everything we can uh, to have those people understand who insist on uh, perpetrating these kinds of activities, 
that it is completely unacceptable, it is against every aspect possible of our way of life, and that as the rest of the world moves in a direction that sadly is more polarizing and more divisive uh, and more uh, in, seemingly in the cause of getting people to uh, find reasons to differ from one another, to find reasons not to celebrate their differences, but to find them a source of, uh, of, of uh, conflict and adversarial behavior. I think in Toronto we have the right thing going here. Not perfect, but we have the right thing going here, and we have to make sure we run as fast as we can the other way and keep going in the direction of a society where we accept and embrace each other, where we celebrate our differences, where we understand each other's special occasions, and where we uh, are blessed to get to know uh, more about each other as human beings uh, sharing this wonderful city, which I think is the best city and the best country in the world, and we're going to try and keep it that way. Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you. I'm just going to have the mayor just stay with us very quickly. I have Imam Salimi here from the Canadian Council of Imams who wants to uh, present the mayor with an award and say a few quick words. That's how we greet all the time. John Turiyo from our community, and uh, first and foremost, Salaam Alaikum. Thank you for hosting us tonight, for having Iftar. This actually, this uh, was written and prepared back in April 2017, and you were coming, but you had a long council meeting and you sent someone. So it's been sitting there in my office, and I want to give it to you since then. We've met many times. But I said, you know, we, I'm going there, so it reads the Canadian Council of Imams, which is the religious, Muslim religious leadership in Canada, representing both Sunni and Shia Muslims, hereby acknowledges the distinct and countless efforts of Mayor John Tory and thanks him for his friendship and continuous support for various Muslim communities' issues. Thank you. I mentioned to you my latest book from 2018, which is Modern Day Tourism. I'm giving him uh, as a gift. And uh, please, it discusses the current events, including the shootings and all these, this madness, which you spoke against many times. Thank you for always speaking for the Muslim community. Yourself and the Prime Minister, as Muslims, when we hear your speeches, we feel there is hope and there is Canada is a big, big idea and a big story to tell the world. Thank you very much. are also being passed around. Where, where are they? Oh, okay, awesome. Okay, um, I don't have anything else uh, that I need to say. Um, but um, what we might do is uh, have uh, Brother Omar maybe recite a bit of Quran and then also... No? Okay, you'll... you'll... No? Are you open to that? Maybe just quickly and then uh, you can just call in then, inshallah. لا 
يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم والله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم صدق الله العظيم Okay, I think this is uh, um, the end of uh, the event. I just want to say thank you to every single person. Uh, there are many, many people uh, who we need to thank. Um, I want to thank the mayor. I want to thank the mayor's team. Um, I want to thank um, everybody, um, uh, my, my brother Mohammed Hashim. Uh, I want to thank everybody from the Muslim Youth Fellowship team, uh, Islamic Relief. There are so many different organizations, so many different people. Uh, who are represented here, who have some hand in all of this, uh, and that uh, uh, without which our community um, wouldn't have the capacity to do the things that we're doing, uh, and to have the access and opportunities that we have. So I just want to say JazakAllah Khair, thank you everybody who came, who's, who attended, who had any small hand, uh, our, the staff uh, involved, everybody who's, who's here. We're going to pray uh, Maghrib, inshallah, in a few minutes. Um, um, Imam Shahab from um, Masjid Toronto is going to be leading the Salah. Uh, we have to figure out what the Qibla is, I think. Did we figure that out? Yeah, okay, alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, uh, I want to, I, we're going to be, we're going to be all, if you're going to be praying, just head up here. Uh, if you need to make wudu as well, uh, the washrooms, I've been told you're going to have to also go this way. Um, and uh, you can find washrooms as well. Uh, I believe that's time, and uh, we can have, has a mother coming? Okay, alright, let's start talking. Alright. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashhadu an la. I just uh, been reminded that uh, folks who are eating the food will be provided uh, in the rotunda downstairs. So uh, after you pray, or if you're not praying, you can head downstairs uh, directly. I want to thank uh, everyone again who was involved in this, um, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. Have a good night.